Have you ever wondered how to just make the most out of every jig that you use? I'm going to give you a really quick, simple hack that you can do to catch more fish on one jig than you ever thought possible. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Turner Fishing. I'm Steven Turner. Uh, real quick before we give out this little hacky dacky. You know, I just want to give a shout out to all the new members of the channel. Uh, I appreciate every single one of you. If you, that's one of the single best ways to support the channels is to buy my jigs or become a member down below. So let's get into this hack. So a lot of times when you're crappy fishing, you're going to catch a fish and it's going to, the hook is going to get stuck in the top of that fish's mouth and you've got to force your finger in there to get it out and it's going to rip your jig all to crap or you hook a bunch of fish and they're down there fighting and the hook actually rips your jig and you end up you know maybe getting like five or six fish per jig or i mean i've had it happen to me where one jig per fish depending on how good they're biting so i'm just going to show you a real quick way if you're having that issue on the water that you can change your luck save a lot more money, get a lot more out of your plastics. So, originally, when you use a jig, you're gonna thread it up. Now, my hands are dirty. Got a lot of issues with my truck right now, and we've been trying to figure it out, but all, all this oil is not gonna come off for a couple days. <laughs> but, so, real easy, you know, you normally just thread it up straight through the head, and you come out just like that. Now this is a size 4 hook, normally I use a size 6 on here. Now normally that's what it looks like. And when that fish bites, you know, there's a lot of plastic back here on this hook that when he's moving around or whatever, it's going to end up shredding right here in the back of the jig. Now a way to prevent that, you know, take a knife or a razor and before you thread it on, you know, I know with the Little Minnow 1.5, a size 6 hook is going to be coming out right here, and a size 4 is going to be coming out about right here. So what you do, you take your razor and you go straight in the middle, right there in the middle, and you're just going to make a little hook slot. Now you don't want to go all the way through the bait, maybe an inch, well an inch, you can't go an inch, maybe a centimeter into the bait just for a little bitty hook slot that's how far my razor's in it right there guys you kind of see through it just a little hook slot now you don't want to go all the way down you just want where your hook is going to come out so you can actually take your hook and put it side by side with the jig and see where your hook's going to come out and then you make that little slot and i'm going to show you what that does So you come in here and you come out and what you have created let me grab a number six hook I really do not like the little minnow on a number four all right so what you have created when you thread this number six hook is a hook slot now when you hook that fish, it's got room to move your jig, you see? Like it's not going to be stuck on that piece of plastic that's holding it in the back. Now you do need to use uh, a, a dab of super glue right here on the head. And just put it up there like that. Let it dry a couple seconds. But this jig, if you put this hook slot, will probably last you until you break it off and I'm not kidding you like with that when you put that hook slot it gives this jig free motion at the bottom to just move freely and I mean you could do that right there and it's not tearing because it's already got a pre-made hook slot so that jig can go you know wherever like if you got a fish that's stuck in the top of the mouth you could actually get down here and when you move, it's got somewhere to move and it's not ripping that plastic. So, 
just a quick tip for you guys uh be coming out with a lot of a lot of these little tip videos it's getting hot out here and with the the truck issues i'm having i can't really get out on the water too much right now so it is what it is but videos i got lined up that i'm going to be making giving out some tips so i'm I look forward to getting all your comments and love every single one of you. Appreciate you watching. Yee!